y is less than scan dot start y plus scan dot compare y y plus equals one, which is plus plus same thing, and then we do one for int x. So what we're going to do is a tiny bit of debugging. Now I usually turn my thingy off when I'm debugging, but you know I know some of you guys like to learn these things, so I'm just going to leave it on quickly, and I'm going to run it quickly, and then so I'm going to choose let's say blue for example. So we get to here. Um, what hasn't been declared? So we've got ourselves y axis. So start x, start y, deduct minus 30. Um, that seems fair enough to me. So what's the problem? So we press F11 just. So it doesn't meet the condition. So I see. So it's not actually scanning it. So what happens here? So start x, start y, plus start to deduct y. Now for some reason this isn't actually scanning. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Oops. So um, start x equals one four nine seven. Start y equals five twenty. Deduct x equals. That's very strange. That is very strange indeed. So let's stop it for a second. So when we call main scan, I know uh, we're testing this on something different other than the usual stuff, um, which should be the game. I know I've made this for the game, but nonetheless, it should work just fine. It should. So I've done. HTC main 30, 40, minus 30, minus 30, which is fine. So we created our variable there. Unless I made a mistake here, is that a possibility? X, Y, X, Y, X, Y, HTC. And that seems right to me. Here okay, so I found where the error was. It was actually something pretty straightforward. Um, uh, you might have noticed this whilst we were writing it, but you know down here on the uh, scan contents, uh, what I was doing here is I was declaring it as itself. and for some reason it didn't tell me. Sometimes, uh, I think C Sharp actually that tells you this if you set it as itself. Did I get that on the errors list? The warnings? No, I didn't even get a warning for that. Come on, that's stupid. So there should be a small uh, C there on both of those. And hopefully we should get something out of it. So if you go back to Triggerbot, so uh, let's do this part, back to that. So if I show you this with my window, obviously you guys can test it with the game, it's fine. So I'm gonna test this now. So run it, hopefully it should run. Uh, choose a color, let's look for blue. So look at that. As you can see, obviously we don't expect it to scan exactly on that crosshair, but this is it scanning. Now, because we set it to a sleep of 100 milliseconds and set cursor position, it's a lot slower than it would be normally. But it's So let's try it without the sleep. Um, and see how fast it actually gets. It's not amazingly fast, but it's not bad. Uh, let's try uh, blue once again. So look at that. See, that's not bad. So it scan, 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 scan. And this is what it does. <clears throat> it just keeps scanning. Now, as you can obviously tell, this is tricky because having to do that all the time, I sped up a little bit, that's weird. Didn't expect that to happen. But as you can see, this is a problem because if it won't scan the whole screen very quickly, and as some people say, this is very slow, which it is. Uh, but we'll improve that in a second. Now, I checked a minute ago, and I've recorded for an hour so far. I don't know if, I've, if the video itself was just long as hell or... I just dragged this on a bit. Hopefully, I didn't drag it on too much. Um, so yeah, hopefully, um, all we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna test it, and then if it's all right, then we're gonna move on to improvements. We're gonna improve a couple of things and make it a fair amount faster. All right. So press delete, close it. I'm now gonna test this on uh, Call of Duty 4, and hopefully, it should be all right. Actually, one thing that we're gonna do quickly instead of that is we're gonna create a little something here. So on our main scan, let's. You see how we declared back to that. See how we declare debug runtime, we're going to make use of that and see how long it takes to scan the whole thingy. So std c out and we want to print out how long it takes to make a full uh, run across across the, our area, the area we're scanning on. So main, so took um, clock minus, so clock grabs just basically the CPU cycle time I believe. I'm not too sure about that but it's not really relevant. Debug runtime so all we're saying is we're saying clock minus debug runtime, which gets the exact time it took for um, for because we declared it at the top here and we said equals clock and we stored a time inside it. Now we're comparing that with uh, the current time. So um, it's just basically to give us exactly how many milliseconds. So we'll say milliseconds to scan whole area. Yeah. So it just gives us area. I think if you want to find out seconds, you can divide it by a thousand, but we don't want to do that because milliseconds are more accurate. So um, if you're not used to those yet, we really have to get used to those because they're essential when you uh, when you're testing these things. Debug runtime. I think 
I don't know if you actually can do microseconds, but if people could do microseconds, I think that would be used as well a lot, because uh, especially on the more important things. So what we do is we grab how long it took to scan the whole area, and then we reset the timer so we can scan again and find out again exactly how long it took. So let's turn this, um, actually, let's leave it on the first time, um, and then we'll turn it off. So once again, uh, did I do that? Yeah, so there you go. So still that. So what I'm going to do with mine, I'm going to run it um, and hopefully see how long it took. So I'm choosing the color that isn't actually there. So scan. It's going to scan the whole area and then it's going to tell me how, how long it took to scan the whole area. And you guys should hopefully have this as well. Come on, come on. And then we'll do a scan without the set cursor pause to see how fast it is or how slow it is. There you go. For some reason it slows up. So it, slows, it speeds up halfway through it, which I don't understand why. Come on, this is so slow. <laughs> it's like by the time it gets to the enemy, you're dead. Which happened a lot when I was first creating this. Uh, but as you can see in the clips, it's not that case when we're finished with it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm going to kill myself. Must be nearly there. Come on, come on, come on. So, um, I think we're doing about 30, um, 30, that seems fair. And what this should be doing in your actual game, if you're testing this in your game, you should be getting something like, um, doo -doo -doo, it should be covering your whole crosshair area. And if it's not, obviously modify it to your needs, but uh, it should be covering it. Come on, I've got all day. Come on, come on, come on, it's nearly there. <clears throat> so as you can see, uh, it's annoyingly slow. I'll do another quick one with without the set cursor pause, but it won't be much faster, unfortunately. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. Also, guys, in a couple of days, I've got a video um, of me... Um, talking to you guys about how, what I actually do at university and all that kind of stuff so if any of you guys are interested in what I do and how I actually got into hacking then uh, you should see that if not then you know you've also got the aimbot tutorial to look forward to in hopefully about a week's time when I finished it I can't guarantee I finished it then but most likely would have had because it's not really that difficult come on see how slow this is you can probably die about 20 times by the time this gets to the end but there you go so it took 143 milliseconds which is actually a minute and uh, it's just over two minutes which is really bad it's terrible so how so press delete to close it let's um let's turn off set cursor pause and this should be faster now uh, obviously this is very slow as you can tell and we can't have the game running like this now other ways of improving this are, are really straightforward so I'm going to run this in the game quickly to make sure it's working alright. Actually, no. I'm going to do the improvement, one or two improvements first. So other ways of doing this are, because we're scanning a pixel at a time, as you can see here, we're scanning a pixel at a time, it's a problem because uh, pixels are very small things and you don't actually need to scan every single pixel. Now, a way of doing this is scanning every two pixels or every three pixels, okay? And this will skip areas, so we'll do that one, that one, that one and so on. It will just skip areas and it will scan a lot faster so you should get double the time on scanning two pixels at a time and triple the time on scanning three and so on. You should get understand that. Uh, so we could hopefully bring our 140, sec um, 140 milliseconds down to... See my great maths, so I'm going to pull the calculator. Uh, 140. You guys that are good at maths, you can do this better than me. But um, we can bring it down to about 46 seconds per per loop okay a uh, millisecond sorry um, that doesn't seem right so 14 milliseconds about that it doesn't really matter 40 see that's how good my maths is so if, if my maths is this good guys then you can be sure that when we do the ESP tutorials and so on you're gonna know this very easy and you're gonna flow th straight through it so yeah we can break break down the time to about uh, a third of what it actually is to so about 40 milliseconds I think that's right about 40 milliseconds a loop and that's still a lot of time so we're gonna, we're gonna do plus equals three on both of these now I don't recommend you do um, I don't recommend you do uh, any more than three because you you're then looking at mixing certain pixels uh, 
Did I say me? Um, Oh, I'm such an idiot. Um, um, so you'll skip certain pixels that you don't want to skip. So sometimes you'll miss shots when you should be hitting them. So I think three is good enough, and it's already fast enough as it is. So we've got that. We're going to do it with three now. I'm going to see how long it takes to do, and without set cursor position. So we should I have it on screen size. So do a quick. Oops. I don't know if. Don't know if it was able to take a screenshot because it wasn't on. So hopefully it should do it. Uh, if it's taking too long, I'm going to quickly get out and. Uh, show you the other improvements which are much better okay so that should be all right come on come on yeah so it took 18 milliseconds to do the whole area so we, what we did is we've also taken set cursor pause out of it so that's 18 seconds it took to scan the whole area we've taken um, set cursor pause out of it which is a function that takes a little bit of time it's just so we know exactly where it's scanning so let's do that so 16 that time it'll be always around the same area it won't it won't change too much. So I'm going to test this in the game with this new thing. Now let's see how it goes. So I'm going to take... Actually, you can leave that on. It doesn't really matter. So I'll test in the game. Okay, so one thing I just noticed I forgot to mention was how to use um, the actual injector and everything. I'm sure most of you guys know this, but for those that don't, I'm going to explain that quickly. So if we've got files required, you should have cams here. And basically, all you do is you should have everything set up to inject the cord automatically. Cord. What the hell? I would say the weirdest things in my videos, guys. So... Excuse me for that. Um, so here it's got uh, all the settings already, so don't worry about any of these. It should be doing everything for you. So all you have to do, this is my actual DLL I created a while back with my menu and everything. So don't worry about that. Um, all this is giving us is our cam so we can pull our, our trigger bar into action. So I'm going to call double click auto inject. And as soon as uh, Modern Warfare runs, it should inject itself into it without a problem. And it usually doesn't fail. Well, it never fails, honestly. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see here, when I try to um, to run it, there's threat detected, and this is because AVG is, a, is just telling us it is a virus, it's a trojan there, and it's not, it's not a trojan by any means. All it's doing is it, it is injecting into a program, which is basically a hack in itself, and it's a virus. Not a trojan does that as well, so that's why it's detecting it as such. Now, obviously, I'm going to allow because I have no problems doing that, so I'm just going to let it run as it's. Fine. Now, if you guys don't trust this, feel free to get your own injector online. But um, if you follow my previous tutorials, you'll know that my files never cause any trouble to anyone. So we're just going to do that. So here I am a COD. Um, as you can see, the um, the menus up. That's the menu I created a while back. You don't have to worry about it. It's got a couple of extra hacks if you want to mess around with them, which is fine. If you haven't seen my previous videos, then you can use some of these. Um, um, we, all we're going to do is turn more hack on hook and, and cams. And obviously if you're doing this for Counter-Strike or any other game, then uh, just have your cams turned on. Make sure they're turned on and that's all we're going to need to do. Uh, and we'll start the uh, program in a minute. So we're going to start a new game. Uh, Unlimited, Unlimited. I usually like to do it on Kill House because it's one of the good maps. It's nice and bright and it's a small place so it doesn't take us too long to test it. So obviously you should have PZ bots running straight away. If you don't, then that means you missed out the beginning bit and you made a small mistake probably on the shortcut. Uh, hopefully you haven't though. Um, and you, your hack should be working just fine. So, as you can see, so I'm going to choose SAS, and you make sure you do the same if you choose this map. So I'm going to choose any weapon; it doesn't really matter. So waiting for teams to be ready. Um, so what I'm going to do is you, you shouldn't be able to see this now because I've got it recording just a game. Otherwise, my thing will be too slow. Uh, but I'm going to just run the trigger bot itself, uh, and I've got it running. I'm going to choose to detect red color. Um, and oops, I forgot to change one thing. I want to make sure. Make sure you have it Call of Duty. So if you're testing it something else, make sure you change it back to Call of Duty 4. Okay. All right, that should be that should be it. So make sure it's Call of Duty 4. I run it. Injects into the game. Oh, no, it doesn't inject at all. Actually, what am I talking about? So I'm looking for red, by the way. So here I am. I'm going to spawn some bots. So it's S V R P Z bot allies, and that should come up for you automatically. I spawn the bot ally, and there we go. As you can see, look at that. Look at that beauty. Um, part of my hack has also got all guns, uh, not all guns, automatic, unlimited equipment. I'm going to do that just for fun. <coughs> but uh, you don't need this at all. It just means you're going to have to reload, and I don't want to do that. So if you want to use that, do that as well. So. Um, uh, nah, nah, nah. Oops, I think I made a mistake there. So, look at this. So I'm just going to hover over him. Uh, nah, nah, nah. I close this. I think this doesn't seem to be looping forever, which is a problem. Uh, I'm going to close this quickly. So it's closing the thingy quickly. So it took this amount of time. Oh, I think I had a breakpoint on here. 
I'm not sure. I think I had a breakpoint. Hopefully that's it, and that should be fixed now.